smoke. Let me give you some really good advice. Be the rabbit. The humble bunny can outwit all of his enemies. He's brave and sneaky and strong. Be the rabbit. Jojo! Are you all right, Jojo? Who are you talking to? Nobody. Rabesla, you're looking fetching as usual. Oh. It's because of you my son can't walk properly and has a messed up face. <coughs> he stole the angry leg. Just took it. Yeah, yeah. So you are going to look after him while I'm at work? Hmm? Make sure he has a job and feels included. Got it? Got it. Yeah, really got it. Good. Guys, this is Johannes Betzler. The kid I told you about. Remember, he stole a hand grenade and blew himself up, and as a result, I got demoted for negligence. Now I get to work in this office with all these wonderful kids. So, Jojo, I'm sure we can figure out something for you to do. Oh. Ideas? Yeah. Guys? Yeah. Yeah. OK, well, uh, we need somebody to walk the clones. Also, I think maybe he could hand out this new propaganda and ooh, deliver these conscriptions. I don't suppose I could be conscripted, could I? Why so happy? Things are changing. The Allies have taken Italy, France will be next, and soon the war will be over. God damn it! Why does that make you happy? You hate your country that much? I love my country. It's a war I hate. It's pointless and stupid, and the sooner we have peace, the better. Oh, the war will end. We will crush our enemies into dust. And when they are destroyed, we shall use the graves as toilets. OK, no more politics. Dinner is neutral ground. This table is Switzerland. Let's eat. <clears throat> you aren't eating. No, I am not that hungry. I might eat later. For now, I'm just going to chew on these grapes. Well, I'm especially hungry tonight. So maybe I'll just finish yours. Don't want it to go to waste. Someday you'll meet someone special. Why does everyone keep telling me that? Who else tells you that? Everyone. Anyway, it's a stupid idea. <laughs> You're stupid. Love is the strongest thing in the world. I think you'll find that metal is the strongest thing in the world, followed closely by dynamite and then muscles. Besides, I wouldn't even know it if I saw it. Surprise, surprise. The shoelaces are undone again. <sighs> Oh, Jojo, you'll know when it happens. You'll feel it. It's a pain. My ass, I bet. In your tummy. Like, like you're full of butterflies. Yuck. Yeah, yuck. Come on, Shitla. Let's get the move on. What the f Hey! What's wrong with you? I'm worried about you, man. Are you drunk? Again? Ready for the best weekend ever? Yes, I am! <laughs> Jojo, my old friend. Hi, Adolf. What's wrong, little man? They call me a scared rabbit. Jojo Rabbit! Let them say whatever they want. People used to say a lot of nasty things about me. Oh, this guy's a lunatic. Oh, look at that psycho. He's going to get us all killed.
Field Marshal Jojo. You're our top man. Prepare to leave the house. Today you boys will be involved in such activities as war games, <laughs> ambush techniques, and blowing stuff up. I don't think I can do this. Was? Of course you can. Aber dann kommst du. When I was your age, I had an imaginary friend. Got me in so much trouble. Kids, it's time to burn some books. Yeah! You're growing up too fast. Ten-year-olds shouldn't be celebrating war and talking politics. Hey, Hitler. I wish more of our young boys had your blind fanaticism. <laughs> Did you know Jews can read each other's minds? But how would you know if you saw one? They could look just like us. Hi. <coughs> you know what I am? Say A Jew. Gesundheit. Sheesh, that was intense. What am I going to do? No idea. Got it! I have negotiated. Burn down the house and blame Winston Churchill. Or negotiate. If I tell on you, you'll be in big trouble. They'll never win. Love is the strongest thing in the world. Your mother took me in. She's kind. She treats me like a person. You two seem to be getting on well. She doesn't seem like a bad person. I'm the enemy. You're not a Nazi, Jojo. You're a ten-year-old kid who likes dressing up in a funny uniform and wants to be part of a club. Yogi? Oh, God. Nothing makes sense anymore. Yeah, I know. It's definitely not a good time to be a Nazi. Adolf? Mm hmm? I, I don't think I can do this. Russ? Of course you can. So you're gonna get out there and you're gonna have a great time, okay? So I'm from New Zealand, I'm Māori. The half on my mother's side of the family, Russian Jews. I wanted to tell a story where it was a film set in World War II which dealt with all of the things we're used to, but really from children's perspective. Hi, Adolf. Is it alright? Oh, no thanks, I don't smoke. Dada! Who are you talking to? This 10 year old's getting absolutely terrible advice from an imaginary friend who is a version of Adolf Hitler. And because imaginary Adolf comes from the mind of a 10 year old, he can only know what a 10 year old knows. You can imagine Hitler as a complete buffoon who really knows nothing about anything. Let's get a book and let's go. Libraries are dumb. So this 10 year old finds this Jewish girl in their attic. And then it was this whole kind of complex thing where they couldn't tell the mother and they strike up a real friendship. Taika has a way about him. His sensibility is everything from Mel Brooks to Marx Brothers. Rob Bessler, you're looking fetching as usual. Oh. I was working with Chris Hemsworth. He had just finished working with Taika on Thor and was just talking about how incredible this magical script was that Taika had written. It's such a beautiful, funny gem of a script. You two seem to be getting on well. She doesn't seem like a bad person. <laughs> I think Taika's done a great job in, in managing to sort of take something that on the surface seems so bleak and kind of inject it with humor and emotion and heart. I wanted to make sure that it didn't just seem like I was making a weird comedy amongst a really traumatic, violent and tumultuous time in human history. It's very easy to get caught up in this idea that, oh, you're entertaining people with laughs and with these ridiculous moments. Exactly. Wait, no. I just had to make sure that I wasn't letting that get the better of the story and that take over essentially what was the main message, which is we need to be more tolerant and spread more love and less hate. Nothing makes sense anymore. Yeah, I know. It's definitely not a good time to be a Nazi. Are you ready for the best weekend ever? Yes, I am! If anyone said to me, you know, it might be too soon to make a film about World War II that has comedic actors in it, I would say it is the appropriate time because I think that the best way of delivering a message is to use comedy to relax an audience and draw them in. He has a conscriptions and he is a gun. Ooh. I play the imaginary 
friend of Jojo. Hi, Adolf. Because imaginary Adolf comes from the mind of a 10-year-old, he can only know what a 10-year-old knows. So you imagine Hitler as a complete buffoon who really knows nothing about anything. Let's go, libraries are dumb. Shh. Casting the right kid was a big deal for us. Finding someone that the audience inherently just fell in love with. Roman's really charming and he's funny and he has a very, very sweet nature and a very caring heart. And because of that, that does carry through into the character. There's a lot of him in that character. And then with Thomason, I already knew about her from New Zealand, that she was a rising star and that she could do it. Elsa has had a life before World War II. She's not just a victim. She's got so many other layers. She doesn't want pity. She just wants to be able to live her life. You aren't eating. I might eat later. For now, I'm just going to chew on these grapes. I like mother characters that aren't just the mother. Scarlett's so amazing, and she's a fun person, and she's like got this sort of goofy quality about her that I really wanted to see in a film, and was lucky enough to be able to get her to do for this. With one eye, like. You got it. Rosie is a real ray of sunshine in a dark, hopeless time. She doesn't allow those circumstances to keep her from being who she really is, a committed parent who puts the time in. Someday you'll meet someone special. Why does everyone keep telling me that? Who else tells you that? Everyone? Anyway, it's a stupid idea. <laughs> You're stupid. Love is the strongest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Sam Rockwell plays Captain Klinsendorf. Captain K! Woo! <laughs> God help me. I really love roles that have a juxtaposition, a real dichotomy, you know. Even though it would appear our country's on the back foot and there really isn't much hope in us winning this war, apparently we're doing just fine. Jesus. I like the rebel as a complete idiot. He talks about being the most civilized race on earth and then immediately is like, let's burn books. It's not every day, believe it or not, that you get in a comedy script that is funny and powerful. So I was like, oh my gosh, I really, really want to be a part of it. I've had 18 kids for Germany. Such a great year to be a girl. The fact that Steven is so scary, I mean, it's not fun, but I really enjoy watching it. Oh, now this is my kind of little boy's bedroom. I knew from having seen Tyker's work that I probably shared a kind of common sensibility, both a sense of humor and a sort of performance style that's quite naturalistic. Ooh, I gotta go. It is an anti-hate film and it's pro-peace. I just want people to be more tolerant and spread more love and less hate.